In this video we're going to show you how you can easily set up the Genesis framework for WordPress. You will need to buy it, it is not a free product, it's uh, $60 and you can buy it from StudioPress at studiopress.com. Uh, there's a great number of reasons why you might choose to use Genesis such as it's you know frequently updated, it's very secure, if you're a developer it's a, gr it's a really great platform to build on, uh, and there's a great deal of options and settings that are already built in to Genesis. So, if you've already considered that and you wanted to move forwards with it, uh, you can just follow along with this video today. As you can see, we've got a WordPress website. It's brand new and there's no content on it or anything right now. So we're just going to go into the dashboard and then we need to go to appearances and then themes. You can see we've just got the default themes there uh, at the moment. So we need to click on add new theme and then upload and we need to browse to where that might be on our computer. You can see that I've downloaded it here. You can see it's Genesis 2.0.2 uh, in a zip file. So I just open that and click install. So it's been uploaded just fine. So what I want to do now is activate that. And then we can just visit the site and see how it looks. Excellent. So we can see that we have this new theme installed and if you go back into the dashboard on the left hand side you've got Genesis over on the left and that means that the framework is installed and it's working correctly. So in a nutshell all of the required code for the framework to you know, work its magic is actually included in this theme Genesis. It's a parent theme and any development you do should be with the use of a child theme so what I'm going to do now is click add new theme again and add another theme. It's called Genesis Sample, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is just open that and install that child theme. You can see it does check that Genesis, the parent theme is installed. So we'll click Activate. And if we go to the side and we refresh, you'll notice there's really no change except for down the bottom, you see that it's the Genesis Sample theme on Genesis Framework, rather than the default message that was displaying before. So what I'd like to do now is actually get a little bit of content in there. Now, in most cases, you've probably got some content that you want to work with, but we don't have any uh, right now that we'd like to work with. So fortunately, Genesis actually comes with some sample content. So I go to Tools and Import and then to WordPress. And because it's a new installation of WordPress, I have to install the importer. So we'll activate and run. And we'll go to Browse. now. If you haven't already done so, if you go to where you've got the Genesis sample.zip and extract that, it'll open up the folder Genesis sample and within that there's an XML folder and within that is a file sample.xml. So we're just going to upload and import that file and we'll just make sure we download and import any file attachments. So that's all done. We'll go back to the website and refresh. Excellent. So what we've got is just a very basic installation of WordPress with the Genesis framework running and some content on that website now. You can go down and check it all out if you'd like. But what I'd like to do is just make a few customizations to this just to make it more functional. So I'm going to first go into menus because they're a really important part of any website. And you can see here if we select a menu to edit, there's contributors, primary navigation and secondary navigation. So I'm going to go to primary navigation and click select. And then I want to put this in the primary navigation area. So we'll just click that and then save menu. We can go back, refresh the website, and we can see that that menu has been added now. If you'd like to make your website running Genesis look the same as the demonstration website, then you'd actually need to go and install two plugins and configure the sidebar and footer widget areas. It's really up to you if you want to do that. We definitely suggest that you should. Uh, otherwise, that's really the basics of getting Genesis up and running on your website. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below.